Hello everyone, Mr. D'Souza here. Um, I'm going to do a quick, hopefully quick, video about solving inequalities. Hopefully you watched uh, the video about solving equations because what you learned there is literally what you're going to be using here, uh, but with a couple of extra added things. So let's jump into it. Remember, use the timestamps down below so that you can go to the part of the video that you specifically need help with. So solving inequalities. So just a quick review about the different kinds of inequality symbols. So remember, equality is when we say that two things are equal, that they're the same. But inequalities is quite different. We can talk about things being greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. So if we're looking at these symbols, and again, you should have seen these symbols in the past. Uh, if I have x with this symbol, this says x is greater than some number. So x is greater than some number. This one says x is less than some number. x is greater than or equal to some number. And last but not least, x is less than or equal to some number. Notice that when x is on the side of the inequality where it opens up, so you see it's kind of like a mouth. Some people say like it's an alligator, like you can kind of draw like the eyes and then the teeth. Yeah, whatever. Um, that it's we call it like the, I guess the mouth of the symbol. Um, that's the greater than side. On the opposite end, um, when it's not on the mouth side, the open side, we say that's the less than side. Uh, so let's do a couple of examples. This says, what values of x satisfy the following inequality? Well, if you notice over here, I switched it around so that the x is on the right hand side, and that's totally okay. Because watch this, x is on the bigger side, right? The side that um, I guess the mouth is opening to. So this reads x is greater than 3. Again, we could rewrite it like this. x is greater than 3. Do you notice how the x is still on the open side and the 3 is on like the pointy side? So what values would satisfy this? Well, anything that's bigger than 3. So is 4 bigger than 3? Yes, five, six, how about um, 4.5? 4.5 is bigger than three. But how about the value of three? Is three bigger than three? No, so this can't be a solution. So as you can see with inequalities, sometimes you can get, a l actually rather all the time, uh, you get many solutions, not just one. So let's try to do this next one together. Negative one, greater than or equal to x, okay? Remember, we can also rewrite this the way that I'm sure a lot of you are comfortable with. It was with the x on the left-hand side. Now, the x is on the pointy side, so we're going to keep that the same. Now, let's read it. x is less than or equal to negative 1. So, what values are less than or equal to negative 1? Well, does negative 1 work? Is negative 1 less than or equal to negative 1? Yeah. Yeah. So is negative 2. And you can keep going. You can say like negative 100. There's a lot of values. The most important thing is that you're able to identify what this is saying. Okay? Because sometimes you're going to have your x on the right-hand side. Okay? All right. So solving inequalities are exactly the same as when you solve an equation. If you remember this from the last video. Plus... When you divide and or multiply by a negative number, you need to flip the sign. That is the only difference. So solving inequalities, you solve them the same way as equations, only when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you must flip the sign. So let's do some examples together. Boom. Let's do this. So this says 3x minus 4 is less than 5. Let's use don't call me impossible. Can I distribute? No. Can I combine like terms? There's no, there's, there are no like terms here. Do I need to move the variable to one side? No. Uh, do I need to, or now rather I'm left with using inverse operations. So if I want to get x by itself, um, we're going to move the 4 over. So the opposite of subtracting by 4 is adding 4. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. And we're left with 3x is less than 5 plus 4 is 9. I'm going to divide by 3. Now, hold on. Did I divide or multiply by a negative number? 
No. So I'm left with x. I don't have to flip the sign. Is less than 9 divided by 3 is 3. Awesome. Now, some of you might ask, well, Mr. D'Souza, can I check my work? Now, before, when you're solving equations, it's very easy to check your work because there's only one solution. However, for inequalities, um, most of the time there are multiple solutions. So this says, when you substitute a value of x that's less than 3, you get a correct statement. So what I'm going to do is we're going to try this out. Okay? So, so we have 3x minus 4 is less than 5. So what's a value that's less than 3? How about 0? So I'm going to do 3 times 0 minus 4. And I get negative 4. Is negative 4 less than 5? Yes. So why don't we get to a closer number? How about 2? Isn't 2 less than 3? So let's try it again. Uh, I'm going to be a little clever and do this. Do, 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 do. Whoops. Okay. Is 2 less than 5? Yeah. How about 3? Is 3 less than 3? No. So when I substitute in 3, I should not get a correct statement. So let's see. I substitute in 3. Is 5 less than 5? No. So all this says is that I tested values that were less than 3, and then I tested at 3. And, I, and everything that I thought was going to be true is true. 3 doesn't work, but numbers less than 3 do work. So that should give you an idea that this solution, x is less than 3, is your answer. Okay? Let's move on to another example. Um, let's do this guy over here. Um, no, let's not use orange. Let's use... Let's use this color. So, again, you solve them the same way as you would an equation. Can I distribute? Yes. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. I'm going to bring everything down. Okay? Now I need to solve for x. So I distributed. There's nothing to combine. There's nothing to move. It winds up, it boils down to a question like this, which is just two steps. So inverse operations, I can add 8 to both sides. And you're left with negative 2x less than or equal to 18. Now hold on. My last step, I'm going to have to divide both sides by negative 2. Did I divide or multiply by a negative number on both sides? Yes, I did. So when I divide by negative 2, I'm left with x. This less than or equal to sign changes to a greater than or equal to sign. And 18 divided by 2 is negative 9. Okay? So this is saying all values bigger than, bigger than, or equal to negative 9 are solutions. Okay? Again, if I want to check my work, it's there's no foolproof way on doing this. So if I want to check, um, we can do the same thing that we did before. Uh, let me clear this. So again, I want to test values that are bigger than or equal to negative 9. So if I literally just retype in um, my inequality, but let's say I'm going to use negative 9. Should negative 9 work? It should because that is greater than or equal to 9. So is 10 less than or equal to 10? Yes. So negative 9 works. Let's try a bigger number. So let's try negative 8. So negative 2 times negative 8 plus 4. Is 8 less than or equal to 10? Yeah. Let's choose a crazy number. So what's a number that's like bigger than negative 9? Let's do negative 100. So, sorry, <laughs> positive 100. So negative 2 times 100 plus 4. Is negative 208 less than or equal to 10? Yeah. So it's starting to, it does seem 
that um, that this solution x is greater than or equal to negative 9 works. Okay, let's do uh, two more examples. Okay, these are great test questions. So, same thing. I'm going to do this a little bit quickly. Don't call me impossible. I can distribute. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. I'm going to bring everything down. Can I combine like terms? Well, on this side of the inequality, everything is not a like term. And on this side, nothing's a like term. Moving on. Do I need to move my variable to one side? I do because I have variables on both sides. Remember, from the last video, I can move the 5x to this side or the 3x to this side. Um, I'm going to be clever, and I'm going to move the 3x. Um, I'll explain why that's clever. Again, you can do it either way. And I'm left with, I'm left with 2 less than or equal to. 2x minus 20. Notice how my variable is positive. If I would have moved the 5x to the other side, my variable wouldn't have been positive, and then I would have had to flip the sign. So let's move on. So I moved. Uh, I'm going to use inverse operations. So I'm going to add 20 to both sides. 20 plus 2 is 22, less than or equal to 2x. So I'm going to divide by 2. I'm going to get uh, 11 is less than or equal to x. Now, if you look over on this side, um, there's no 11 here, there's no 11 here, um, and this is not positive 11. So the answer must be 4, but you might be saying, hey, Mr. D'Souza, you have it written the opposite way. Well, if we go back to what we talked about here, we can flip them, right? So you see how the x is on the big side? Well, we can write it like this. See, x is still on the big side, 11 on the little side. And this, whoop, is that. All right, let's do one more example. This also looks like a great um, test question. Uh, let's choose this color. So, uh, same thing, same thing. Uh, we're going to kind of go through this a little bit faster because um, we already learned how to solve equations. So I can distribute. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 4x is positive 8x equals 3x plus 8. Um, also, I kind of messed up. Um, I think I chose the wrong problem. So I think instead of this being an equal sign, this should have been uh, less than or equal to. Um, that kind of sucks. So ignore this. We'll just do this for practice. I mistyped. It was a mistake. Ah. Okay. So let's pretend that um, this was a less than or equal to sign. All right. So uh, can I combine like terms? No, these are not like terms, and these are not like terms. Um, I need to move the variable to one side. Again, I'm going to be clever and make sure when I move my variable, it's positive. So I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. Do, 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 do. And I get negative 2, 8. 765, that is positive 5x, is less than or equal to 8. I'm going to add 2 because now I'm doing inverse operations. Add 2. Boom. 5x is less than or equal to 8 plus 2 is 10. Divide by 5. Divide by 5. Did I divide or multiply by a negative number on both sides? No. So I keep my symbol the same. And 10 divided by 5 is 2. Boom. Okay? So any value that's less than or equal to 2 will satisfy this equation. Uh, I hope that this was helpful. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. Or email myself or Ms. James. Um, on that note, have a great rest of your day, everyone. Bye!